Nature has always got the nitrogen from uh, a natural source. There is uh, lightning that uh, is well known as a, a nitrogen source and bacteria, free living nitrogen fixation or uh, rhizobia that are on legumes. So the natural landscape has to get its nitrogen from somewhere and nature makes a large amount of it because the wind that I can feel here today in this field is 78% nitrogen. It's not available to plants, but the way we get it is through our internal combustion engine as one source and the next source is through plant physiology, the shift of the plant to put a lot of extra dates of, of sugar compounds into this soil to feed the free living nitrogen fixing bacteria that will fix nitrogen freely and that is through the stimulation of the bioactive emissions technology. Phosphorus is a huge concern to agriculture but nature has evolved to the fact that every DNA in all life has phosphorus as a backbone. So it's evident that on our fertile lands here in Canada, uh, US, Australia, Africa, that this soil is made to make nutritious food. And for some reason, there is a, a storage of phosphorus in every soil and even, in fact, rocks have phosphorus that are tied up. But the, the nature's way of extracting phosphorus from soil and getting it from the clay and the aggregates is by putting sugar sources there to feed mycorrhizal fungi that'll dissolve calcium and phosphorus or aluminium and phosphorus that is tied up or iron. So nature has discovered a way to get phosphorus into the plant system by using symbiotic relationships of microbial life and we believe that bioactive emissions technology empowers a plant to find all the phosphorus it needs because in our experience we haven't added phosphorus for 15 years and our plants are not expressing a deficiency. Potassium is a, a major nutrient that plants need to pump water, to draw water into the root system by the plant getting saltier than the surrounding soil. In the soil every three inches there is two million pounds of earth here. The problem that happens is this soil gets out of balance so the cation exchange this soil here is is a little bit sandy and loam and it has a cation exchange a 20 cation exchange. That means that it's like a 20 volt battery box. The clay is 50 so it'd be very heavy and that's a 50 volt battery box and sand would be 10 but what the root is looking at is balanced soil with a pH just near 7 pH. That allows the potassium in the cation exchange to be about 3% and I have found my soil to be 8 pH before I started with the bioactive emissions technology and now it's perfectly balanced at 7 and I have a 3% potassium cation exchange and that is perfect for any root to grow in and I'm not depleting the soil, it is staying balanced because this is the earth and the plant only uses 2% of this earth every year and I have 3 million pounds or 2 million pounds every 3 inches and I will never run out of it. If I'm a miner and I'm only taking 2% away of, of 2 million pounds in the top 3 inches, it'll take an eternity to remove it all at 2% a year.